Would you listen to yourselves? <laughs> that sounds crazy. But I like it. No, we have... That's Friday, baby, right? That's that Friday energy we have today. Friday, we're playing it loose. We got it loose tonight. Yeah, all right, yeah. Guys think I'm hot, thanks. <laughs> Story of my life. Girls, and yeah, they're on, guys. woo -hoo. It's all just, you know, man, Friday. We got to lose. Can't you feel it? It's a little different. The end of the week, you know, the rest of the week, we're striving so hard for excellence. <laughs> and then Friday, we just sort of let it all go. Yeah. And that's when we find ourselves. That's the irony. We have a wonderful, wonderful show for you this evening. A lot of fun stuff planned. Let's talk about the week, though. Got to talk about the biggest story of the week was the end of the Michael Jackson trial. Aren't you glad it's over? I am. I am glad. I never do jokes, but it's finally over. And everyone's wondering what's going to happen now, you know, with Michael Jackson. And this is the latest. Michael Jackson's brother, Jermaine, this is true, is urging Michael to sell his Neverland ranch and move to a country overseas. That's what he's urging him to do, yeah. Yeah, which explains, which explains why today at the United Nations, dozens of people were overheard saying, you take him, no, you take him. <laughs> In every language, I see, he's and him. That's all he had and him. Uh... This is a weird thing, though. Michael Jackson made a very strange announcement, uh, which isn't strange, but, uh, but he announced that tomorrow he's thanking his supporters by taking them to an Indian casino. Um. That's true, yeah. Taking them to an Indian casino, yeah. While at the casino, Michael says he's going to use his Indian name, walks with a 10-year-old. <laughs> a noble name with a long heritage. <laughs> oh, Lord, that's not right. But you laughed. Uh, well, hey, this is the big story right now. Just a couple of hours old. Tom Cruise, did you hear about this? Tom Cruise announced that he and Katie Holmes have gotten engaged. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, afterwards, Katie Holmes was very excited and said, I couldn't believe it when my publicist told me. <laughs> Something's going on there, I don't know what. They got engaged at the Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower, they got engaged, that's sweet, yeah. No one was, uh, no one was hurt. Uh, you're thinking I'm making this up, but I'm not. No one was hurt, but yesterday in Florida, a Goodyear blimp crash-landed next door to a Red Lobster restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the manager of the Red Lobster uh, was unfazed and said, hey, we get a lot of blimps in here. Yeah. <laughs> It's a really dumb joke. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. Any Star Wars fans here? All right, then. Yeah! Oh, yeah, you can tell. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Like, I'm such a jock, you know? <laughs> Who am I? But yet I do. I can't help it. Now, this week, George Lucas was given the American Film Institute's Lifetime Achievement Award. It's good. That's good. That's good, yeah. It's very nice, yeah. Not only that, not only that, C-3PO was given a Lifetime Achievement Award by Gay Robot Magazine. <laughs> very narrow-focused magazine. And then I think this is the strangest quote of the week, but in a new interview, Billy Bob Thornton said that having sex with Angelina Jolie was like having sex with a couch. He said having sex with Angelina Jolie was like having sex with a couch, yeah. In a uh, related story, never buy a used couch from Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> Let's talk about tonight's show, a loose show tonight. Loose, loose in the hips tonight. That's right, baby. 
forget I said that. That was, that was insane. But it's a great show this evening from the, uh, from the play Hurley Burley, Academy Award nominated actor Ethan Hawke is on the program. Look at Big Ethan Hawke fan right here, La Bamba. La Bamba likes the fellas. All right. You did. I just said Ethan Hawke, and you were like, you were all excited. And you'd be very excited about our second guest, La Bamba. You know him from Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Now he's in the new, oh, now he'll answer your letters. The new movie. Oh. Oh, like you need sheet music for the trombone. All right. It's a very complicated instrument you got there. He's also in the new movie, I love him. I love him like a brother who's got issues. Uh, now he's in the new movie, The Perfect Man. Carson Kressley's on the show. Come on, but come here. Let's hug, come here. Let's hug. I love you, man. <laughs> Can I have the hat for the rest of me? You got it. I'm gonna wear the La Mama's hat for the rest of me. Wouldn't it be a completely different show if I wore something like this every night? My whole personality would be different in the monologue. I'd be like, hey there, listen to this. I got a little scoop for you. <laughs> a good year blimp crashed into Red Lobster, yeah. <laughs> the guy was unfazed though, says we get a lot of blimps in here and that's the truth. <laughs> this is my new look. This is what I'm doing from now on. All right, and finally, ladies and gentlemen, what are we doing out here, by the way? <laughs> Musical guests, uh, the Red Wall is gonna perform. <laughs> They're a crackerjack group, you're gonna like them. You want this hat back? Here you go. You better boil that thing, all right. And of course, Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg. <laughs> <laughs> 